Nigeria's power sector has been undergoing reforms for the past two decades, with privatization positioned as the solution to underdevelopment and underperformance of the industry. The gradual transition from estimated billing through the provision of prepaid meters is not moving fast enough to cover customers despite the government's national mass metering project. Some unmetered residents in Kaduna are decrying the difficulties involved in getting prepaid meters as they are forced to continue paying estimated bills. Trustee Biz Belamusa has more on this story. Power supply is a big challenge in Nigeria for residents and businesses who remain underserved despite billions of naira spent to reposition the industry. Estimated billing, which has been the practice for decades, is still operational today as the national mass metering programs fell short of expectations with millions of households unmetered and unhappy. I, for me, personally, I think the billing was better than this prepaid. The prepaid is um, nice because it's, um, I mean, it's efficient, like, you can buy a card very fast. You can load from your phone, you know, from your mobile phone. It's easy, but the rates, you know, the, the tariff is, is very high. So Prepaid is something that uh, if you don't have uh, a source of income, that you, uh, at the end of the day, you have a lot of uh, ele electric appliances in your house. Honestly, a lot, you cannot be able to do that. Haruna Hanapi is a small business operator who pays for electricity using estimated billing to run his business. Haruna remains on meter because prepared meters are hard to come by. Bab one day tapa kawmana ita. Ha salima mini nema akanta dum. No one has ever brought the meter to us. We tried to get it, but we were told that we have to pay forty thousand naira after booking and it will reach three to four months before we get the meter according to some residents prepared meters are still being bypassed leading to energy theft by some customers 15 percent of those using prepared their bypassing 15 percent of those using prepared their bypassing that's why you notice that some of those uh, uh, residential areas now, all those uh, new uh, areas, uh, settlement, you will notice that if they want to build their uh, meter, they will put it inside their room. Because they know if they have to move, when the neighbors will be walking around just to check whether they bypass your meter, they cannot be able to check in. Uh, energy thefts, either in the form of uh, meter bypass, uh, meter tampering, illegal connection or illegal uh, extension of supply is one of the greatest uh, threats to energy accountability and uh, revenue assurance. And uh, the company is, is seriously bleeding as a result of these uh, activities. According to reports, illegal connections have led shortfall in revenue for electricity distribution companies. In 2022, the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission revealed that the total billings to consumers by the distribution companies was 1.185 trillion naira. Only 841.81 billion naira was collected, leaving a total outstanding balance of 343.50 billion naira. The multifaceted challenges in the power sector continues to linger as Nigerians hope for better days ahead. Bella Musa, Trust TV News Kaduna.